Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important as we get deeper into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who've been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. in 1914, we're at Davis Wade Stadium, the second oldest Division 1A football stadium in the country. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Mississippi State tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Cowan takes it at the 8, gets to about the 24-yard line. Weaver's ability to throw the football has got everybody talking. Whenever he decides to turn pro, he might be a very good one, Kirk. Brad, every quarterback at any level, the two things you have to see from them is decision-making and accuracy. And not only does he have decision-making and accuracy, he also has a really strong arm. And when you combine all those things together, it's no wonder that the people up at the next level are already taking a good, hard look at him. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. Ready! Ready! He's to the 40. And they make the stop at about the 49. So the option play gets some big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find the hole and get through it. And now he pitches it. Tackle around the 47-yard line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. From their own 47-yard line, second down. He's got it with room to run. He's taken down at the 35. Johnson makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, first and 10. ten. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. From the 19-yard line, first down. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. But well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. He scrambled, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's tackled at the 10-yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That'll make it third and one. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here we go. 
Gets it. He's in space. Brought down around the four-yard line. The offense gets a first down here, and you got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense the ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. And down he goes around the one-yard line. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the one. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. This is the 11th play of this drive. the extra point. So an 11 play, 76 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Maxi looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 31. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. Tackle made right around the 40. Church is the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. Got an opening. He's at midfield. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. the 47. That makes it second and 10. Right left, right left. Four down, four down. The 16's coming. Check Mike, check Mike. Check four, check four. He fights forward to about the 46. Church gains about a yard on the play. to the back and he is drilled at the 43 well that's a big time stop by the defense you know brad one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down that is a big stop and i think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game there are three quarters remaining the seminoles with a touchdown lead And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Didn't get all of that one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Florida State is up by a touchdown. Makes it to the 31. The delay gave the back some room to run, and he was able to pick up about nine yards. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That makes 
it first and ten. ten. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 46-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 46. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 46. First down. his way to about the 38. Gaining eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Roger, Roger. Mike 50, Mike 50. Here we go. <laughs> and he's tackled after positive yardage. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Florida State is up seven. And a quick throw. He's taken down around the 23-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 23-yard line, first down. Gets three yards on the carry. It's the ninth play of the drive. He laterals the ball. He makes it to the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, third down. Fires out to his receiver. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And he tackles him hard at the five-yard line. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. They're at the five. Second down. He's on the run. They bring him down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Florida State up seven points. Drop in for a loss. Taken back three yards. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. This isn't much more than an extra point. Florida State is hoping to make this a two score game. Kicks away, and he got it. Maxi gets set to kick this one away. He's 
to the 20. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He sails it long. No, incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. On the draw, tackle to the backfield. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Seminoles with a 10-point lead. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver He'll return it from the one. Oh, what a hit. Florida State's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Makes it out to about the 36. his way to midfield. play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. From the 38-yard line, second down. Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. That brings up third and 12. Check back 16, check back 
Wants to go long and does. Uh, incomplete. Almost picked off. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. Certainly they don't have the return on here. It's away. Short punt. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. You knew that return was doomed as soon as he put his hands on the ball. With the field as messy as it is, he wasn't going anywhere. Makes it to the 37. The running back carries for 10 yards on the draw play. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Gets out to around the 48. That makes it first and 10. see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And now he's got room to run. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 19-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. He's immediately tackled. Slings it. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled around the 13-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Roger, Roger. Ready. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. It's up, and it's good. Florida State lines up for the kickoff. From his own goal line. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And they get the sack. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Call the loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring a third and long. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check back 16, check back 16. Oh, 
Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Cowan is back deep to return. Looking for the corner. They'll bring him down at midfield. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Throws and it's incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From midfield, second down. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That'll bring up third and six. That's three down and one to go. The Seminoles with a 13-point lead. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Brown will be the return man. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Mississippi State's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from this guy. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Church gets seven yards on the play. And down he goes at the 25. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. From their own 25-yard line. It's third down. Check back 16. Check back 16. And he hits him hard at the 34. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34. Makes it to the 47. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. He's got his 
receiver with nobody around him. He's taken down at the 20. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. tries to buy some time. The 10 decides to slide. And he's taken down at the 8. That brings him second in goal. It's second and goal. Eight yards out. Number 16's coming. Check Mike. Check Mike. Ready. But hot. Blue 88. Blue 88. Run, 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 run. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That makes his third and goal. Less than three minutes in the game. Mississippi State. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. From the seven. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. All well, these defensive coaches have got to be loving what they've seen from their guys today. Well, you and I talked to both of these coordinators getting ready for this game and they put together a game plan. They shared it with us and we're seeing it out there on the field today. They still are going to determine the outcome of this game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. He's tackled around the 24-yard line. Two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. run there. Munoz gets six yards on the carry. The Bulldogs will use their first time out of the half. From their own 30-yard line. Third down. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Maxi is waiting for the snap. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Mississippi State's given them all they can handle today, and they're still not done. Yeah, let's remember, they were a heavy underdog coming into this game, and here they are, under three minutes to go, with the football, a chance to put a drive together, and who knows, maybe they can take the lead. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Let's go! Stays in bounds to make a nice catch.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. Throwing left. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. From the 38-yard line, second down. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder. Though he didn't make the catch like one. Here's the eighth play of the series. Brought down right around the 22-yard line. the 19. That's a game of three on the way. Mississippi State That'll will take their second time out of the half. This is the 10th play of this drive. Big play and it's first and goal. Extra point that can give them the lead. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23. Weaver's got an opportunity to win this game. This defense has got to come up with something to try to rattle him a little bit. This is going to be exciting to see if this defense could slow him down because I'll tell you right now, if they don't put pressure on him, they're going to give up a winning score and it's going to cost him the game. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. And he's tackled right away. We have less than a minute to go. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's pushed out of bounds at the 37. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 14-13, hold on. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.